Lead off match. This it's the lead off the match. brother Schuster. Well, I'm playing for my mom. Uh, yeah. So you I'm, know, I'm playing. I'm playing for for our mom. Uh, Peg had her hip replaced. She's really w- basically sitting by the phone, waiting to hear if uh, if her baby Neil was able to take down. <laughs> I know, talked to her this morning. She wished me uh, luck. His his evil little older brother. How many times does he get this up and down out of ten? I'm gonna go with a one. Flashing that plastic smile, living out in California. Drove a couple thousand miles, but you never left a good and bright note. Oh my goodness! Great shot. Very tight, tight, tight piece of property. We're making it work. Am I nervous about Icarito driving in an RV? Yeah. I, can I admit? Yeah, I am. Well, that's a pretty good start right there. <laughs> no laying up was here. Solly and I are waiting for an Uber while our competitors will be arriving in style today to the course. Brother Schuster here in the courtesy car en route to uh, a huge um, leadoff match. The winner gets to have all four losers caddy for them at some point in the next six months. There's certain rounds that we can't have it, right? No, I no, think everything's Any, on any the table. round you want. What if we're like at have it. It's up to the winner. Like if he's like, hey man, you I, like yeah, hopefully everyone's benevolent enough that they. I mean, I don't know. You're a scumbag. You probably be like, like you're asking that question because you're thinking about doing that. Then we have uh, individual uh, personalized stakes for each match. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome to Butter Cabin. <laughs> if when Tron Carter loses, he will be dyeing his beard um, with frosted tips. I do the whole beard. The whole thing. Do the whole thing. So I bought this down at Big Sur. Uh, it's a remo- it's a temporary tattoo, hopefully not too temporary. It says Juicy. And there's actually two of them in here. So I want to put one on Neil's forehead and one on one of his cheeks. Or the forehead, I'll do the forehead, but then maybe the other one has to go to the neck. Okay. <laughs> it's like Kenyan <laughs> Martin. Say- so you got to remember Pacific Grove is like 5,700 yards. It's a little quirky. I think that definitely favors Tron. Dude, Tron played so well today. Really? It was uh, ridiculous. He's out, of, he's out of the room now. What? Yeah. What do you, what do you, what do you really want to Dude, I, let's get real. I f-ing feel like if I hit the fairway, I'm going to win tomorrow. I, I'd be shocked if you hit more than two fairways. I know you think he's like too far in his head on his driver. It was so bad today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he wasn't even close to some I, of those fairways. I can report it was, it was really bad at Sandpiper, too. Like right now, at the top of my back swing, it feels like... Like it's going that way. Neil doesn't even look like he's close. <laughs> like, not like he's, it's almost like he's trying to convince himself exactly. with all the he keeps bravado. I just think at this, the table is set for like Icarito's last stand here. It might be a pick six, you know? Like it's like, God, things look horrible. And it's like, oh my God, he's going the other way. Complete momentum shift. And it just feels like it's like a break from a movie or something. You know what I'm saying? It's match play too, so I know I can, I know I can get in his head. It's interesting how the older brother younger brother dynamic is gonna play i'm three years three months older probably should have been nicer to him when we were growing up but i'm gonna draw on that experience here tomorrow sometimes tron if you just stay quiet like he'll get he'll freak out on himself a little bit self immolate yeah he really does he kind (laughs) of he kind of like lights himself on fire like in protest i want him to hit a couple good drives from the start get overconfident with the driver you want him to fly too close to the sun yeah no like i'm trying to i'm trying to build him up a little bit so that he falls that much harder betting man tron's the favorite and i'm i'm taking tron if i had to like bet my life i'd, I'd take tron tomorrow oh, there you have it big randy betting his life <laughs> no if i tried no no, no i said if I, <laughs> if, I, if I if i had to this is like the play-in game that is the bulletin board material we were looking for thank you mr carter and good night You guys' uh, mentality is good today? Feeling good about the round? Mary. I feel like I've got nothing to lose. You're going to have a bloody Mary? I'm the, I'm the underdog. Aren't you worried about drinking too early and having, having to maintain? Having, hey, don't. No, I'm trying to stay loose here, man. I'm feeling really been good. adjusting his driver in three Well, or good three thing I'm going to have to hit the driver all day because my five wood is lethal. Oh, f- you're going to make me get 
the bag out. Shit. For somebody who's never been here, what's it like? Oh gosh, it's um, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, you know, it's harder than you would think because it's not a real long course. You hear a ton about Pacific Grove because of the back nine and the front nine. It really is like two totally different courses. I mean, if it's windy, it can be a big difference. Uh, front nine, very straight out, straight back, very tight, tight, tight piece of property. The greens are kind of small, and and uh, yeah, you just kind of have to work your way around the course. Two opening par threes, which is kind of fun. Uh, one short, one long. Any last words? I feel good, man. Feel good? Yeah. Just play my game. That's all I can do. We got a 139 yard par three to start off with, so it's kind of a gentle handshake. Should be. Sick! Oh, it's in the cemetery. Our leader is all rattled. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Good luck out there, partner. I want, I want to see big things out of you today. I want to win this match. I don't want you to lose it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Thanks. God bless. It's 312 for us. Egan's Alley. Either play a 200 yard shot to the right off, right of the trees or hit driver at the green over the trees. Well, this suits my eye. Got to bleep that later. Thanks a lot. Going. Oh, oh, come on, baby. <laughs> what? He's like that. Let's go. From back here, it looks like Neil just absolutely stiffed one. <laughs> oh, in the trunk answers. All right. Strap on, guys. Strap in? Not don't strap on. Strap in. You know what? I'm gonna give that one to you. It's good? It's good. Alright. Cool. 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 Extra magnificent today. I think that was it. That was pretty much tap in. I was feel pretty confident about it. Yeah, I was actually playing some shit talk if you made me putt it. I think you had that one. So he kind of avoided something there. I'm trying I'm trying not to get you all fired up here. Yeah, I think that that would have that that that's pretty kidding. smart. Look at how cool this is. Got your premium balls. Something for everyone. And an honesty box. And if you're dishonest. A lot going on there. 265 downhill. I think that's a, gonna be a five wood for me. It's your box, so we'll certainly get to see what you're made of. This is a prime Icarito. Start here, starting quick and uh, an Icarito watch. Yeah. Get down. Too 
too much. But that's right. Do that. Back in it, baby. Would have been back. Got on three down after six. Tron's the master of trying to summoning fake confidence. A little three putt hiccup there or something. I don't know how much ex exactly how much public golf there is in the area, but you're not going to get a better like, price deal for that yeah. scenery. And like, it's fun golf. It has some. It definitely has some quirk. Has some characters. It was a little, you know, in, a, in the best possible way, it was a little scruffy. Right through that gap. Boom, ball, baby. Well, fairway. One up, fairway X, putts one, safe sure. completely inland on one side of a road, flip over to the other side of the road, and it's a completely different golf course. You're out in the dunes, the weather becomes different, the grass was different over there. There we go, the people's pebble starts now. I don't think we can go from two my like, polar opposites of the golf world and playing Monterey Peninsula on Friday afternoon and playing Pacific Grove on Saturday. It's so different to go from a place that is ultra, 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 ultra private to just daily fee. Here's, you know, you can buy your your beer and your tea time for $55 or whatever. I think Monterey obviously is objectively the better course, but I think I would choose to hang out and be amongst the people. Yeah. At Pacific Grove. One to ten. Two up. Yeah. And the ocean. Get this all. Like we got a little weather rolling, which is an interesting storyline. Because I don't have rain gear. It's gonna like this. Too much juice. Come to the Pacific for. <laughs> I think I gotta step up into the driver here. Go. 
go. Good. It's really good. Toronto. I have no idea where that went. Gotta think. Toronto is closing it to one here. The way my day is going, I thought he was going to make that one. I got to feed on those, on those into the wind poles because he yeah. gets trouble controlling his spin. Conditions are getting tougher. TC is starting to peacock a little bit. green caught up with the competitors we're in a bit of a, a weather hold um, Tron Neil I appreciate the time Tron talk to me about the uh, the state of the match battled back um, you know, I knew I had to take advantage of that last uh, into the wind hole because Neil has no chance of controlling his trajectory or his spin rates I do think it's a little bit scummy that uh, that the rules officials have have stopped us it's uh, this is just killing my momentum, and uh, I think it's it's kind of a it's, you know, it's kind of a peace offering to my competitor. I think it's bullshit. Sure, Neil. New match, four holes. Tell me about your mindset. First, Randy, it's good to see you. Man. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, you know, leaking a little bit of oil. Um, I had two on four stairs. You know, middle of the fairway. Missed club myself a couple times. Four holes left. He told me it was all square this morning. How to said. Let's f***ing go, baby. Tron, four holes. What do you think? Yeah, I'm taking it one shot at a time. We're back into the wind. I think we all know how that goes. Guys, can't thank you enough for taking a little bit of time. I know uh, it's hey, not, the, not the most ideal conditions, so family. thank you. Family doing well, Chuck? Doing well? Family's doing very well. Yeah. Thank you. I'll, right, I'll pass along your regards. Please do. It's live from uh, the 14th Green here at Pacific Grove. Back to you guys. <laughs> Now he's looking for. All right, Carrito smells blood. Get it. The gallery is starting to build out here. Hey, buddy. Holy shit, it's a little wet. Credential to be out here? <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> my foundation uh, is letting me come out and spectate <laughs> my hero. Oh my god! Does that mean safe? There's no what the hell is that? That's what he does every time! <laughs> the door's open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! You like that? Uh, I'd say Tron's in the catbird seat here on 17. He's got about 10 feet. Neil's over in the shit. I was gonna say if Neil could somehow get this up and down, that might break the bat. TC break misses his, bat. his putt. That could be it. Oh 
here than the cameras make it look. That's the Mega 4! That's the Mega 4! <laughs> oh I've never seen oh. that. Safely out there, yeah. Shot. The table is set for like Icarito's last stand here. Uh, there's like a switch that he can turn. He gets just down enough on himself to where he kind of he kind of, you know, starts pressing too hard. I had three iron on my hand and I put it back and reach for driver. And it just feels like it's like a right from a f***ing movie or something. You know what I'm saying? from a f***ing movie or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it came down. Did you see it come down? Across the street. Oh, did it? Sick! <laughs> 250 yards back that way. Up there. A little controversy on 18. I'm like, I'm not trying to be a dick here, but he's trying to take the most cavalier drop of all time. And we're just not going to let that happen. Ball just didn't go up the fairway and then took a 90 degree left turn. <laughs> Crossed back there. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just, you know, he didn't play by the rules. You got to protect the field. God, that was such a bad decision. Oh, it's oh, hot. God, this is at it's seriously at you. I can make a play. Guys, <laughs> this is going to surprise you. But Neil is long of another green. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. It's, uh, it's fine. It's not great. That's okay. Ooh. Chipping a putt there. Well, it's a good lie. Um, some uh, flowers blossoming, so it's a good view. How many times does it get this up and down out of 10? Man, I'm, I'm gonna go with a one, and it might be right now. A little debate on the ruling back there? Uh, yeah, it's all good. We just had to decide on the line from the tee. Hey, guys. Let's get this. Hey, let's. Sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. Oh, oh God. Go. Oh, go. Oh. That was too much Shafua. Too much Shafua. Uh, oh. Shot. <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like I shouldn't have hit driver on 18. It's simple. All came down to one decision? Yeah, I think so. The rest of this stuff, I just don't have a feel for my game right now, but that was a controllable, and I made the wrong decision. What a way to win it. God, what a five. Five for the ages right there, guys. Great match. Great match. Great match. How does it feel? Uh, it feels good. It was a battle all day. I, uh, I think Neil, when we go to Ireland, Neil's going to be f***ing people up. Would Matt. you say you you lost it or Tron won it? Um, if I'm being honest, I'd say that I lost it. Um, but that's kind of Tron's game. He's kind of slow and steady through the especially down the stretch off the tee. What do you think of your chances against uh, Big Randy tomorrow at Pasta Team? Uh, that's my favorite course in the world, so I feel comfortable there. Are you uh, a so, little worried about the uh, face tattoo? No, I think I can pull it off. I kind of changed my look up a good amount anyway. Here we find uh, yesterday's loser, still coping with defeat. It wasn't my time. It wasn't my time. And uh, but I'll be back. They're calling me Big Brownstone because I'm I got a high ceiling. <laughs> All right, tall and skinny. And a low floor. I would like your intention to be. Uh, I will resist the urge to hit driver. <clears throat> I feel saved. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad? <laughs> I 
fifth seed, first out. Man, it's been a tough trip. You know, Trot and I have a long, long history, college roommates. But what an honor to be able to compete at a course like Pot of Tampa, which I know is your favorite. Is it holding up? That's no, pretty see, good. Now I think you all are rattled because you know how serious the stakes can be. Flashing that plastic smile, living out in California. Drove a couple thousand miles. Oh! Like, I wouldn't yeah. have been able to sleep tonight if you would have taken that drop. You ever see a Cavalier drop on tour? Maybe uh, I definitely have seen uh, <laughs> three by one of the same guys. So really? You see it, but you got to be like TC over there and just kind of stand up. What do you do? You just know? tell the tell the rules official, or do you? No, no, you you just you front say, street you him and you're like, hey man, that's yeah. not great right there. But it's tough because you want more people waiting for you when you win. You know, by the green. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. 